Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. But you already know that don't you? Because that's why you're watching. Right, it's been brought to my attention that the Sky Sports website has a statement on there more or less accusing Pula for being a racist because he's been asked something like what's Joshua got that you've not got and he said well he's got a better tan than me well Joshua has got a better tan than Pulev because he's a black fella isn't he uh, how's that racist Mike Tyson's got a better tan than me he's a black fella I'm a white fella what and what what's 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 news with that what's wrong with that I don't get that they're trying to make out Pulev's a racist are they doing that to try and sell the Joshua Pulev fight on race is this the is this the the hors d'oeuvre for the main course with Fury Joshua Black Lives Matter versus Traveller Lives Matter I don't know but just how low can Sky go how low how low can they go now they've just about done everything haven't they hey just about done everything haven't they now so let's just back up two and a half year is it three year i think it's two and a half year eddie chambers who used to be a peter fury train fighter he, he's getting direct messages off anthony joshua this is a true story and he's told that he's a disgrace to the black superior race by anthony joshua sky weren't giving any mention about that or the fact that Joshua said that uh, the, the Mugabe, is it Robert Mugabe, whatever he's called he's misunderstood and all that, this guy who, who, who were going around killing villagers and stuff like that nobody said anything about that when Joshua was coming out with stuff like that did they they didn't even give the Black Lives Matter their time did they when he went on that march but yet Pulev comes out with a throwaway comment like that something that's said in jest, a bit of banter you know and look how they've turned it but yeah, they never gave airtime to the other crap did they about Joshua or Mary fucking Poppins did they eh? well they didn't did they but it would not melt would it I mean just how low are these people prepared to go to sell a pay per view I mean, I mean, how many pay-per-views are they putting on them? We've had Dylan White, Povetkin, then we've got Dylan White, Povetkin rematch. Wedged in between that, we've got Chisora, Usek, and then Joshua Pulev. Four pay-per-views in, in, in the space of how many months? In under four months? What, what's all that about? What is all that about? It's greed on a massive scale. And they're using all these media outlets to push it out there on you, the boxing fans. When all you've got to do really is go on to, is it crack it, crack it, crack it or something.com or do VIP.com. There's, there's loads of streaming services out there, loads. Or get a box in your house. Why should you pay for this? Why? Why pay for substandard boxing? Pool left 40 after Christmas. 40 years old he's an old man when have we ever seen Joshua in a fight where he's gone into it and we've gone do you know what Joshua's not the favourite here we haven't have we we haven't they even got it right with Ruiz fight didn't they because they got him when he was fat as a pig Michelin man in rematch but were they bothered if he'd have lost no because he got 80 million didn't he in Saudi they don't care about the British fans. If they did, they wouldn't have fought Ruiz in New York and then Ruiz in Saudi. Now they're coming back to England with a tail between their legs. They're going to charge us top whack for pay-per-view. And it's Pulev and he's pushing 40 years old. And they're using race to sell it because Joshua pissed everybody off, hasn't he? With his Black Lives Matter little movement thing. So they're trying to somewhat different now, aren't they? They're trying to stoke race up. They're trying to turn a negative with what Joshua did into a positive, but still using the same word, race. 
and it's just about as scummy and low as you can get sky sports boxing and it all starts from right at the top you know from mr bean adam smith mr bean it filters down through his commentary don't forget he's never had a fight in his life from his commentary to rest at pundits down to youtubers and all the rest of them all, all the cult it's all a cult and like i said the cult now they're going on the race they're going to go on this race thing with pool left it's become embarrassing and you know the british public sooner or later you know what they're going to do they're just going to wash like that they're going to wash their hands of it all and boxing's going to be there ain't going to be no boxing it's going to be left to certain people to pick the sport up again trust me it's, in, it's happening in front of your eyeballs all right thanks for liking and subscribing leaving a comment don't forget to share it if you like the video if you don't like the video don't share it Nobody's forcing you to. Alright, peace out. Don't have nightmares.